Hello and welcome back to another video. Um, the last video we looked at the timing, made sure it was all correct. Um, so since then, I've put the chain covers back on and the cam cover back on and RTV'd everything that I needed to, just to kind of speed up this process a little bit because I wanted to let the RTV dry and set uh, and make sure that it wasn't leaking before putting back on the flywheel. Now, so the flywheel has 10 bolts and one of them is slightly offset, so you can't really get this wrong. The only problem is I had to wait for new flywheel bolts because, well, they're stretch bolts and I don't want to break them. So I ordered some new ones and it took about four days to come in total. So other than that, I think it's time to crack on. I've got brew in hand, got everything I need. Let's get on it. Now there was a problem the last time I put this on. Um, I'll post a picture now. The problem was, as you can see in the picture, these bolts that came with the clutch, the flywheel, and the pressure plate assembly from CG Motorsports, I can't complain. I really can't complain. They, the turnaround was really quick. They did exactly what I asked them to do. They got the flywheel I asked them to. Everything that I wanted from this is there. The problem was they included some toothed washers. And unfortunately, the toothed washers push the bolts out far enough that it grinded on the gearbox casing. So as you saw in the picture, there was quite a nasty gouge out of this. Now, fortunately, there's still plenty of material behind it. I can't really see it going. If needed, I'll just re-weld it. It's not a problem. I can do that at a later stage. But actually, there's a lot of metal there, so I don't think it needs it. And done. Right. Come in. What's next? So what's next is this part we're looking at right now. Where the water thermostat and the rest of the plastic housing sit. Now, this is the second head as we described in the first video. But the problem is, this here is a little bit pitted. It looks worse in the picture than it actually is so we are going to rtv this as long as well as the rubber gasket that sits over it and the reason for that is i don't feel the rubber gasket is going to fill these holes it's quite it's quite a, a tough rubber gasket um so i'm just going to throw a good bead of rtv around this put that assembly on that'll fit back over the crack pipe and then we should be good to go Now that that's back on, nice and tight, all our TV down, we can then start thinking about putting the gearbox, gearbox back on. Fantastic. So, job done. Gearbox on. I can see that everything's sat good. I can see the pin here for the... Uh, the swivel arm on the clutch, I don't know what it's called. Gearbox is on. I'm just going to level off the engine again. But one thing I'm going to do before I do any of this and before I turn it over is just take this off, throw some oil into it, and have it at its maximum stick out. And then I'm going to put it back in. And the reason for that is I just want to make sure that that has uh, enough tension on the chain that when I do crank it over by hand, it doesn't want to drop to uh, skip a tooth um, it's just something I'm really concerned about with having to now do this three times over the last month I really don't want to do it again so I'll do that now um, and then we'll look at pushing it back into the engine bay so here we have it the engine is back in It's only on the engine mounts at the moment, but the drive shafts are pretty much where they need to be. The exhaust is where it needs to be. So it's just literally bolting things up now. And then testing it, hopefully we can seem to figure out what the issue is. Now, again, 
what we're going to do is we're going to go through as we're going back plugging things in i'm going to whip the injectors out pull them off um and see what how they're firing if they're firing um someone did mention to me that potentially they um can stick open and just keep pushing and pushing and pushing so we're going to do that the second thing we're going to do is try original ht leads instead of the magna core ones and make sure we're there sparking as intended as well um other than that it's had an all new sensors like the cam sensor the crank sensor uh water sensors you name it they're all new i can't you know i don't see why i'd need to change them again but we'll see so that's it for today uh, most of the engine is done now so quite happy with that so tomorrow hopefully we'll start being able to test things being able to make sure everything's firing in the right order make sure the injectors are doing what they're supposed to do etc 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 so see you later guys thanks